Hi, it's me again with Corel Drill Tips and Tricks. And I just did a video earlier about the polygon tool where I changed um, the star. And if you hold down the control button, there you get a perfect triangle up there. Somebody wanted to know how you could make these outer edges rounded. Well, that would be pretty easy. Just go ahead and do that, do whatever you want to do. And then with the shape tool, just select all your nodes and right click and turn them into a curve. And by doing that, now you've got curve handles. And if you take your shape tool, click on that node, you can actually make these curved you know, pretty much any way you want. Um, if this isn't in the middle, we need to probably go to the middle and then you can move that one up and that one over and you could have curved petals if, or the flower or something. And because it's still in the polygon tool shape, it's going to do all the, all, all the way around at the same time. You could still, you know, make that one a line, but it's gonna make all of them lines. So you could have half a line and still have half a curve if you wanted to, to make, you know, different type shapes. But probably the best thing to do would just be to keep them all curves. And then when you expand them out or rotate them, in, in this way it's a cusp type node. So if we right click on it, we can turn it into a symmetrical node. And then whatever you do, well, that's pretty much a cusp. So let's right click and turn them into a smooth node. And then see this way, both handles are turning where the other is just doing one side. So let's turn it back into a cusp and then only one handle moves and you can do a little bit more with it or less with it, depending on what you want to do. But if you'll just grab a node and grab that arrow, you can make all kinds of different shapes and you can still bring it in or out, left, right, and do whatever you want. And because it's in a polygon mode, you can do this. I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.